Working into math lesson 9.4. Solve area problems. I can find the area of a rectangular region that is formed by taking away rectangular pieces from its interior. Josh runs a glass bottom boat touring business. He wants to install a non slip surface on the walkway of the deck. What is the area of the walkway that needs the non slip surface? Okay, so we need to pull out our information. So, what do we know? Um, which, do we have anything in our, um, in our word problem part? No. Our information is all in the pictures, right? Okay. So, the deck is area equals 18 times 10, right? And then this is the length, right? Actually, let's not put area. Let's just put the deck has a length of what? Is 18 and the width equals 10, right? The glass has a length of 12 and a width of what? Four, right? Okay. Okay, so how can we solve the problem? We're going to use what formula? The area formula, right? So area equals, so for the deck, our area would equal 18 times 10, right? For the glass, our area would equal 12 times 4. Okay, so now they want us to actually plug it in and show what it would be. So 18 times 10 would be what? What's 18 times 10? 180. What's my label? Square feet, right? Okay. So then, what would my area be for down here? 12 times 4, which would be what? 48 square feet. Okay. But now, do they want to have that all over the deck? Or only around the edge? Around the edge, right? Okay, so now we need to take our larger number minus our smaller number, correct? Yeah. So 180, so 180 minus 48. And then we're going to put it over here so we can regroup. So I can't take 8 from 0. So this 8 becomes a 7. The 0 becomes a 10 because I went next door and took 2 more. Do I have to reduce the 1? No, because no, I would have enough. So 10 minus 8 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. And bring down the 1. So 132 square feet. So on this other one, we accidentally wrote down the stuff. So just draw an arrow to say that those should be switched because we accidentally put the deck information on the glass and vice versa. Step it out, number two. Josh has a second glass bottom boat with two viewing areas. He wants to install a non-slip surface on the walkway of the deck. What is the area of the walkway that needs the non-slip surface? So what do we know? So we know that the deck, so we're just gonna say D, okay? So the deck has a what? A length of 25 and a width of 15. Glass A, so GA has a length of nine and a width of seven. Glass B has a length of 11 and a width of nine. Okay, so what are we gonna do to solve the problem? What are we gonna do? Are we going to have two steps, three steps, or we do? We're going to have to have another step compared to what we had last time, right? We have two more area, or we have another area. So we're going to have to find the area of the what first? The deck, and then we're going to have to find the area of glass A, the area of glass B, and then do some subtracting, correct? Okay, so they want glass A first. So what were the dimensions of it? Nine feet by seven feet equals 63 square 
B, okay? Glass B, what are the dimensions of it? 11 feet and 9 feet, so 11 times 9 is 99, 99 square feet, right? Okay, and then the deck, the length was 25 feet and the width was 15, so I'm just going to write that vertically so I can work it out and figure out what that is. So what is 5 times 5? 25. So put a 5 and carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Mark off the 2, mark off the 5, and put a 0. 5 times 1 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. And then do what? Add them together. So 5, 7, 3. So 375 square feet, okay? So now what do I need to do? Um, I add Am I adding? So I could add, I could add 99 plus 63 and then subtract it, or could I just subtract 99 and then subtract 63, okay? Either way would work, okay? That's up to you. Some of you would be easier just to know to subtract twice, okay? Some of you, that's fine if you want to add those two together and then subtract it, okay? Either way, it's two more steps, right? Okay, so let's do minus 99. So what does this 5 become? 13, because I went next door. This 7 becomes a 6. Can I take 9 from 6? Nope. So it becomes 16, and I go next door and make this a 2. 15 minus 9 is 6. 16 minus 9 is 7 and bring down the two. Now what do I do? So minus 63. So six minus three is three. Seven minus six is one, and bring down the two. So the area of the walkway that needs the non-slip surface is 213 square feet. Check understanding number one. Part of this is a three inch by two inch sticker on the back of an envelope that measures eight inches by 10 inches. What is the area of the back of the envelope that is not covered by the sticker? So this time, do they give us a picture? No. So we're gonna have to figure out what goes with what and then what steps we need to do, correct? Okay, so two, or three by two is one of our dimensions. Eight by 10 is another. And they want to know what is the area of the back of the envelope that is not covered by a sticker. So the sticker, what's our formula? Area equals what? Or let's just circle that so we don't get our equal sign in there. So length times width. Our length is 3. Our width is 2. So what is that? 6. Okay, and we should have, you're right, we should have written the formula just as a general guide right okay and then the envelope is what eight times ten which equals eighty so we need to take eighty minus six to get what seventy four okay so seventy four what square inches Okay, so you guys are going to do this thing together with small group or partners here in a little bit. We're going to finish off the back, and then you'll get with those people. So on your own, number nine, Owen is painting a wall. The wall has a window and a door as shown in the diagram. What is the area of the wall, not including the window or the door? Okay, so once again, they gave us a picture, so our dimensions are there. There is not a whole lot of space on here, so if you guys need extra notebook paper, would that be a good choice? Yes. yes. So then you can show your steps accurately and keep everything in mind. So first of all, what do we start off with? What is our formula for all these? Area equals Z times width. So that is my first step. Then, what is the wall? What's the area um, of the, for the painting? Let's put painting. So our length is area equals 14 times what? 9. 
okay? So we can also write that vertically. So 14 times nine, nine times four is what? 36, so put the six, carry the three. Nine times one is? Nine plus three is? 12, so 126. Okay, what about the window? Okay, so area equals um, two times three, which is six. Can we go ahead and subtract those? Yes, since they're right beside each other. So six minus six is zero. Bring down the two, bring down the one. Okay, what about our door? That would be area equals seven times three, which equals what? Um, 21. And I can go ahead and subtract that. So can I take one from zero? Nope. So this becomes a 10. This becomes a one. Can I take two from one? Nope. So this becomes an 11 and this becomes a, a zero. Okay. So 10 minus one is. 9, 11 minus 2 is 9. So 99 square feet. Number 10, a square fountain covers an area of 25 square meters. A plaza surrounds it. The total area of the plaza is four times the area of the fountain. How can you find the area of the plaza not covered by the fountain? So to me, drawing a picture for this would be a really good idea. Okay? So I'm going to draw a little square and then another square around it. So how much did they say the area of this was? 25, right? The fountain is 25 square meters. And then they say the area of the plaza around it is four times as much. How many quarters are in a dollar? Four. So 25 times four is 100. So this whole thing would be 100. So then what would we do? 100 minus 25 equals, so if I had a dollar and got rid of a quarter, how much would I have left? 75. So 75 square meters. Okay, so just for time, I mark that out. Okay, so we're going to do 12 and 13. We'll work it out and then go over it. Okay, so first of all, we wrote our um, formula of area equals length times width. Then we found our large box, and we took 5 times 11, which got us 55. Then we found the area of the small box, the first small box, then, which was 2 times 3 is 6. Then we found the area of the second small box, which was 2 times 2, which equals 4. We added those together and got 10. So then we subtracted um, 55 minus 10 to get 45 for our answer. All right, number 13. First step is to put our formula. Area equals length times width. Okay, so we need to find the large box first. So what would that be? What are, that um, area equals 7 times 9, which equals what? 63. Okay, then our small box one would be area equals, what's its dimensions? Four times one, four times one which equals four. And then the, make sure you're marking these so you guys know what these all are. Small box two is what? Area equals five times one, which equals five, then what do I need to do? I can add those together, or I can just go up to 63 and subtract the four, and then I can subtract the five, right? Okay, but let's just go ahead and add them, and then minus nine, what is that? So this becomes a 13, this becomes a five, 13 minus nine is what? Four, and then bring down the five. So our answer is what? 54 square meters.